It's your boy. The Grim Reaper. Complete with new shoulder pauldrons. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You're my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Intended Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And if you read by the title, it's time to begin a new season by jumping into that cockpit for some more Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Last time we left off, man, we had an epic conclusion in Edmonton, man. There was so much shit going on, so many twists and turns, backstabbing at the highest degree. You know, because my man McGillis, a.k.a. McGilla Gorilla the Killer, he was plotting his own plan in the midst of all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, he went ahead and just revealed to his homeboy that, you know, he was in cahoots with uh, Tekken in and stuff like that. And he revealed that he got that crazy bitch Carter to just go on a suicide mission so she can get clapped and he could take her spot. All the while, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill you now so I can just go ahead and use your sister as, you know, my little beneficiary or a little boost in hierarchy and get up in there with the family, you know. So he was just doing all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. He also got them to um, utilize that dude. What's the dude that wanted revenge for old school that got shot by Mika? In like episode three, I think his name was Ainz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got them to turn Ainz into this weird android Alea Vignana project. And he then in return revealed that, oh yeah, you see what um you see what Gallahorn is doing? They're doing stuff that's not in their standard to be doing. They just going crazy. So he was using all of that to secure a, a higher spot up in this new Gallahorn that he plans on reforming and taking over and I think uh, Mika in some kind of way lost one of his eyes and one of his arms by fully utilizing the Alea Vignana system. What a shame. Yeah, that was a shame. a shame. But hey, on the flip side, Kudelia and my man Makanai made it to the parliament, you know, and shit, Kudelia was like, y'all ain't shit for how y'all been treating these people on Mars. You know, I'm just going to tell you now. And they were able to secure a good spot. And in return, she's going to be chilling on Mars and working alongside Mach and I, you know, just in case he want to start doing stupid shit. Because you know how some boomers are. You know, they be so old school. You never know what they're going to do. So it is what it is. So, yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and see what these boys and these gals have been up to in season two with episode one titled new blood oh shit we gonna have some new recruits because i know we lost a lot of people along the way let's see man okay we got um uh -oh. Ray, Ray, you and sagat stage from street fighter alpha <clears throat> it's almost time to leave for saisei once we drink to pledge our loyalty to Tewas at the sakazuki ceremony pour one out we'll be on equal footing with Naze, the Tewa subsidiary a farm this size won't be able to pull in the money we need mm. Lots of guys with nowhere to go will want to join up with Tekken. That's cool. They got their own farm and everything. Now. Eventually, we'll go completely legit. So you think that biscuit would have stopped me? R.I.P. Biscuit. R.I.P. Too. I honestly don't know. That being said, if you're not stopping, I'm not neither am I. Sun's up. Tekken. They were thrust into the spotlight during the fighting surrounding the Prime Minister election. And after offering uh -oh. metal mining rights, she's a big mama looking good right there. Direct Tewa subsidiary. Their heroic deeds during the turmoil were recognized, and they became a promising company mm. with a slew of envious rivals. Boys that came up. Their biggest ally, Miss Kajelia, partnered with Tewas to establish the Admos Company. Its purpose was to mine, process, and ship the half metal of Arbra's colonies. Uh oh, who is that over there? Everything in her power Thick to patty milk. Old Melba. So Cadella actually did some good. She did. Gallahorn lost the public's trust, which resulted in even further deterioration of law and order around the world. Oh, wow. Noble suits were once again recognized for their military value. Every country oh, has to not the way they wanted it to go. suits from the Calamity War. The number of mobile suits has since rapidly increased. Did she get taller? Probably. Uh oh. There you I don't go. Know if that's gonna do it right there, Playboy. Oh. 
continues. Exactly. To he got the soda. He got no time to go to the club, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that is. This guy again? What is with him? All the guy does is sleep. Yes, look like he... People around here call him the fiend or devil. He got them down. Like industrial waste. I'd One punch man eyes. I'd say that kind of stuff around if I were you, newbie. Seriously, man. Yeah, sorry. Or it'd be funny if, like, yeah. Mika got, like, a gun behind his head. He's like, right, he's ready to shoot him. And you're new, so you still haven't had a chance to see the real Mikazuki in action yet. Come on! You call it running? Pick up the pace, Get your drawers out of your asses! It's as if his yelling has inspired me to be a good soldier. <laughs> I got a space dandy on this shit. You want to do another lap or what? Huh? <laughs> Yoshida, huh? try taking it easy on him. Yeah, everybody's kind of matured a little bit. I don't know, but the thing is, I feel terrible if these rookies died because I was too soft on them. A mob battle already? Damn right. <laughs> so they got new mechs and everything. Oh, okay. Damn. Mm, Who is that? Yeah. yeah. It's that new blood, man. Looking like a hot shot from um, Static Shot. Or well, Hot Street. Dante doesn't change, does he? The Shinen Zio frame is based on Hyakuri and Hyakuren. It's a mass production model developed by Taylor. All of you guys need to sharpen up and get your acts together already. If you don't, we won't be able to go back home to Kaze. I kind of feel sorry for him. So that's the Ilya Vignana system? Oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot. So that's how they're flying around like Those that. Those Sheetans don't have the Ilya Vignana. Huh? Are you serious? The Ilya Vignana system is from the Calamity War. We don't know that much about it yet, so people using them in Tewaz's new systems is a no-go for now. It's crazy to think about it, but you end up getting all of that power from just a little surgery. Come to think of it, why doesn't the boss let us have the surgery? I know, right? Probably don't want y'all to lose y'all mind. That's enough. Shit. We didn't have the surgery because we wanted to. We shouldn't have to gamble on such a risky operation. The world we're building here... It's one where no one has to take that risk. That's what I'm talking about. I hope you slackers are all rested up because I think another 10 lap run is in order. Uh, come all on, right, man. man. Get going. <laughs> I like that guy. He has a unique look to him. Oh, is doing indeed. work that's not <laughs> fit for him. So I have to do my part to help out. I know what you mean. Hey, I hate to break it to you, but these <laughs> numbers aren't right. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The other two are good to go. Don't forget to send flowers to the Asian company for their new office. Will do, sir. The boss sure is working really hard, isn't he? It wasn't too long ago that he hated sitting behind a desk all day. Yeah, Indeed. man. Times have changed. With his so big boy draws on. How's it going? It's going all right, I guess. <laughs> Come now. You're the hero that brought half metal to Daywas. We're only recognized for our strength. If we had an overpowered Gallerhorn, we wouldn't get the time of day. You're not satisfied? No. No! You guys know I'm grateful beyond words. You got us Tewaz's latest mobile suits at a bargain. And besides that, you're working on our two Gundam frames, Barbatos and Gushion, for free. Gushion. Honestly, grateful is an understatement. Mm. We have no intention of stopping just yet. <laughs> Cheers, then. I'm looking forward to what you have planned, Blood Brother. Correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Cadelia, but I've heard you're going to invite people from other colonies to tour around your half-metal mines at the end of this month. Where did you hear about that? I'll assist you. After all, your tour could benefit from the help of a noted intellectual from Crise. Sorry? Well, it's clear that your original philosophy was greatly influenced by mine. Naturally, if I stood by your side, <laughs> I'd be able to offer some assistance. Who are you, sir? <laughs> Sorry. But it's time for your next appointment, man. That's who got some curves, oh, right? You. We're in the middle of a... Thank you, Kukubita. Kukubita. Mr. Gyojun, <laughs> you start to believe no. I decline your offer. My current activities don't require anything as lofty as philosophy. Nowadays, as sad as it is, words will get you nowhere. He do look like a titan in the face. He do, like he ain't got no soul. He finna go do something crazy. Terra Librionis is virtually hanging on by a thread. Since he wanted one last shot at the limelight by using Who got all the booty meat? Like there's a chance she do? Hell, that For real. Budget. Shoot! Even so, he knew all about the She got the, the whole bakery back there. The whole bakery. We shouldn't take him lightly. 
How did she react? Unacceptably. Then... Get in touch with you-know-who immediately. We need to reach out to Tekadin right away. They're doing real good. Glad to hear it. Well, he so, might have got a little taller. First thing tomorrow, yeah. I want you and Pops to go get the Barbatos. Roger that. Is that it? Not gonna ask me why? Work, right? <laughs> it's for Kudelia's job in two weeks. Something's fishy about it. Don't worry, I'll make it. Anything that you ordered me to do, Marka. If you ordered me to lick this floor, I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'll do it for you, Commando order. unit leader. Listen up. This will be your first time on the battlefield. My first time out. All of you will be joining Akihiro's second unit and piloting mobile workers. Space guts. Uh, listen, listen up, up maggots. This isn't training. Uh -oh. So look alive out there. The second unit is not for pushovers. Yes, sir. Look alive. Look alive. Finally. Brilliant work, McGillis Fari, new fleet commander and Fari family patriarch. <laughs> no, no. Any success on my part was due to the help of everyone. Oh, pish posh. He look weird. Because mm. of you, Ooh, he look weird. COVID regulatory joint fleet won't I just need a call a little bit. Ceremonial decoration. You're giving me far more credit than I deserve. You're like a black dude. I'm no, like no lady. I thought it was a lady. Somebody help me. Issue. Moreover, I carry a tremendous burden from my past. I directly exposed a great deal of corruption within the Mars branch. But as a result, the Mars branch was weakened. It's regrettable to say, but that area has now become lawless and pirates have begun to dominate the region. Although it was my aim with the Mars branch to carry out justice, I'm the one who caused this problem. As such, I would like your permission to resolve this matter personally. That being said, I request that you authorize my Outer Earth Orbit Regulatory Joint Fleet to intervene within Mars territory in order to- Impossible! That would be trampling on the responsibilities of Lord Elion's fleet! Please, Lord Kujan! Is it not our duty to maintain law and order in the outer spheres? You must maintain composure. <laughs> I think it's a fine thing to see a youth. Like, well, I'm trying to quest some out, Lord. McGill got a plan for you, that's what I know. Apologies, I mean Lord Elliot. Lord Kuja. The reason for Gallerhorn's very existence is to maintain order in the world. To be perfectly frank with you, who ends up doing that job is of little consequence. What is most important is that we continue to have the power necessary to maintain peace and order. It's awfully late, isn't it? What's going on? We're your guests. I need to amuse her like that. <laughs> They're having a meeting about tomorrow's last tour. You won't be able to resist we're me without that. Right now we're focusing on the Dawn Horizon Core. It seems they landed on Mars three days ago. Dawn Horizon? Yeah, they're pirates. They have 10 ships and 2,500 members. Really? Sounds like they were hired by the Terra Liberionis group you told me about. I can't believe he... He finna bomb the place, girl. We gotta go. Here. Let's see what these new, crew, new Sorry, recruits got. Sorry, it so long to gather the intel. But I'm you gonna have no casualties on the first episode. The shelter now. There's no need for you to worry about it. Because we are Tech it. Tech it. Sad, we gotta find a way to move on crime. We're not gonna get any credit hanging out back here. Yeah, you're right. Man, don't be trying to show up show yourselves. Are these the uh, of course they have those. Hey, doesn't this alarm me? They're Ahab waves. Continue with the charge! Come on out, you so-called devil. I'll show them how fake you are and give your suit to a Everybody who said that in the bed. Right. I underestimating these boys. <laughs> I don't want to die. Is this where I'm going to die? Sorry to keep the guys waiting. It took you long enough. Get to work already. You got it. Let's get it. Here comes Tegadin's first working unit. Scratch that. We are stay units. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Boring. Where's your devil or whatever he calls? Screw you! Just watch. We can wipe you out without him. Don't underestimate us. Now, and he always be so right there. Yeah. Boy, what? How many are there? I'm reading six reactors. Contact in five minutes. No, four. Oh, you tried to rush in like that, man. I thought Beaker was gonna be behind y'all. I mean, he ain't got one on. Yeah. But he was still able to pilot the gun the last time. Low. There's no time for me to refuel. I'll make two. Let's go. Right. We don't have any grand 
ideals or aspirations. There you go. We have no foundation Wait, the got loose, or anything right? to fall back on. The only way we can protect where we belong. Talking about barber uh, toast and is it not, did I say that? I don't remember none of that gibberish now on the console. Is he really gonna? Can you believe it? It's Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Mika. You're not gonna stab you. Yeah, it's fine. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Inertial control system and thrusters. So it works when he's in there. Yeah. I think we're pretty easy with me. Running away isn't one of my options. Hmm. Kind of upgrades you got, sir. Looks like it got beefier on the shoulder parts. Yo, Mika. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Good to be back. Whoever this is is singing for their damn life. Hey, yes. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it was doing good till I seen that. Right. But, mm -hmm. guys, that was episode one of season two, man. It's, you know, it's a good little episode where we catch up with everybody to see what they've been doing you know what i'm saying see what new positions they got you know um mika says he doing his thing you know leading his group and you got uh what's his name like a hero leading a little gundam squad and we got all of these new recruits which i think that's the best thing for them you know it's like if they gonna you know go with the whole child soldiers thing you know send them over to tech and then where they belong you know where they'll be treated as more than just space dust be as equals. right equals equality and all that jazz. right yeah, this is interesting, man. I was like, I don't know how many years or months have passed, but everybody does look visually different. You know, people look taller. Some people like they got different hairstyles. You know what I'm saying? Which is uh, dope. Like, I like all these characters and what they've been up to. You know, um, what's my man's name? I always forget his name. The guy with the silver hair that's leading Tekken. Orga. Yeah, Orga. He. Orga. Um, I forget. It's Orga. Gorga is the name of that dude from the Zulu Patrol. Yeah, Orga looks like he's taking a page out of Nisei's book where he got to be looking dappered up and ready for business anytime, you know, he got to go talk to somebody and make some moves to, you know, get the establishment further in um, their career. So that's interesting. And then we got Kudelia. She looks, she looks more confident in her role, you know what I'm saying? Working alongside the Prime Minister on Mars and doing shit, not taking on under the table deals. So shout outs to my girl, man. Overall, I'm gonna give this episode an A plus. What you give it? I'm gonna give it an A plus till I see McGillis ass looking like he was kissing on my hands of a <sighs> child. Hey man, McGillis, he know how to play the game, man. So Oh McGillis get played for that. <sighs> no, no, no. Have a seat right there. Yeah. Anyway, but I, yeah, whatever. I'll give it an A+. Plus. Yeah, but we're going to keep it moving and grooving, man. This next episode is going to be called In the Midst of Jealousy. So let's see who's jealous. Let's okay. do this. I need to like somebody from Mob Psycho or One Punch Man. It's your boy. The Grim Reaper. Complete with new shoulder pauldrons. Barbatos. It's a barbecue. That's the barbatos. <laughs> I can use a barbecue. Different, but there's no doubt Sweet baby Ray Gundam. Attack. It's Mr. Mikazuki. He's come back. Flex the pectorials. Mikazuki. Like, oh, he got the tech. Right. I guess the barbatos must have already been out for repairs when you joined up. Damn. Quit acting like you're this better than me because you've been here a month longer. Well, I'm just a bigger fanboy than you, sir. I just know my, uh, Take It In Barbatos trivia. No, go down a barrel with that shit? Oh. The Devil of Take It In. That's the, the name Deville? his enemies gave him because he's always fighting on the front lines. His Alea Vignana connects him to the Barbatos. He's very special. 
Damn, he's a monster. See, you could have been a leading star to a movie, but you want to be fighting with these boys. Of course it is. This baby inherited my most from Sega's battle data. And it also got the LA of Vignettes episode. Don't die I'm trying to talk to them, but. For real. Let's get out of here. I don't try to run now. At least I ended the fight with a cool pose. I'm glad you're determined to see this through. Having said that, you're up against a group that's backed by Tewaz and Argrau's Machinai. For what this I'm dude just looks so... <laughs> more Man, he just looks really cool. Pimpin'. Watch your mouth, activist. Just who do you I'm think probably you're trying to sleep with him across his face. Oh, shit. He didn't turn up. I don't care for facing Tekadena or anyone else for that matter. The job of a pirate doesn't change no matter who the opponent. No way the Dawn Horizon Corps is gonna turn the other cheek. So lay low till things settle down. Got it. So while she's doing that, what are we gonna do? Go at it with the Dawn Horizon Yes, we're gonna be out there getting killed you while she that's lays possible? up. possible? Not likely. The Dawn Horizon Corps is a huge outfit with ten ships always at the ready. Like it or not, we will have to face them at some point. If we don't make the impossible happen, Tekken is finished. Uh, we just got a new Barbados Lupus up and running. It's already Barbados Lupus, man. Yeah, damn it. I wish you'd show a little restraint. Sick Well, technically, I wasn't wrong last so, time, then. What do Lupus do out there? Lupus? You know good and well. That's the new name that Tewa's chief mechanic gave it. The Barbados is the Barbados. Your right. Were good. It's already trademarked. You never change. Hello, everyone. How are you? Hey. Hi, Mikizuki. It's been a while. Good to see you. I've stopped by to visit a few times now, but you've always been away. Oh. Yeah. Orga tells me whenever there's fighting, you and the Barbatos are always on the front lines, leading the charge into battle. Well, unlike all the other guys. Fighting is the only thing I'm good for. Good, you're here. Perfect timing. Miss Atra, there's a... something that I'd like to give you. Here. Oh, okay. This is for me. Yep. She is really now trying to be in this three-way couple. This way, no matter yeah. where we are in the world, we'll stay connected. <sighs> like the Wu-Tang Clan. You started to smell a little. Really? Honestly, it smells like you. <laughs> <laughs> Like the inside of a donkey's anus. Shall we go? Girl, I was trying to be alone with Mikazuki. Then you just gonna come in to join right. our walk. It's funny how I was trying to take a long walk around the park. Pop up. Eugene, great. It's you. Got the cosmos so sweater on. The new recruits. You need to make sure they know the names and faces of your business associates. This kind of thing won't do. Is he a VIP? You could say that. Very irritating person. I knew taking you under my wing was a good idea. I want to kill you. Oh, right. right. Nah, this is what happens when you don't have a proper diet. Speaking of which, want some candy, little boy? Seriously? Don't fall for that crap. <laughs> now, now. Want some candy? I come with news that'll that sounds like some stranger danger, danger shit. Directly from my boss. Huh? The Dawn Horizon Corps is an enormous yet elusive pirate gang whose reach extends all the way to the Earth sphere. Tracking them has proven to be a difficult task, even for us. I'll help however I can. My assistant, Isurugi, is already heading over to aid you. He's familiar with the inner workings of the Dawn Horizon Corps. Yeah, it looks like such a beautiful and fairy place. You do. So you're using us as bait, huh? Such a lack of trust. I never trusted you to begin with. <laughs> you However, can never trust a guy that wears I'll a mask. You up on your offer. Oh. And a wig to go you with it. it if you don't trust me because accepting your offer means taking the shortest route possible to our goal mm. you want to fight the dawn horizon war yeah they raid shipping lanes so i believe they're also a nuisance to tewas that's true but still and we can promote tewas's latest frame by showing off the power of our sheet ends very well do as you wish thanks you're not gonna regret this Old man, why do you always let that guy do whatever he wants? There's no point in putting on the nice grandpa act with those kids. What are you saying exactly? 
Will you hunt down the Dawn Horizon Corps? Yeah, hey, what you gonna do? You ain't about crazy. nothing. Let the newbies take care of those idiot pirates on their own. It's not like they can't handle it by themselves. And why are you complaining? You just don't like these kids getting respect from this OG right here. They're shaping up to be an interesting bunch, aren't they, Naze? I would think you'd be a little more understanding about it. Not my problem, I'm afraid. The Earth Branch will have no involvement in that conflict, so it's none of if our- I'm being frank, they're the ones who need reinforcements. But the but boss no. doesn't ask because he's worried about our situation. So keep that in mind before- Orga's he... worried, is he? HQ doesn't help us at all, they just keep making things worse. And at this rate- Mr. Adiche, both the Earth Mr. Branch Adiche. and HQ are part of Tekken. We all trust Orga, and we know our boss will lead us down the right path. That's how Tekken works. What nonsense. Oh, widescreen having head ass. This little know it all punk here doesn't know who he's talking to. I like Levi Since from Attack on Titan. He's what? teaching you the ropes and know it all. Faster, come on. Sorry about this. Let's, me, let's be talk. one of the boys from too. the orphanage that they recruited. Uh, Aston. It was with, uh, what's his name? Yeah, was eating them damn protein bars. Yeah. Just dig in, okay? I was expecting to get chewed out or something. You know, you weren't wrong back there. But I don't think those regular soldiers were in the wrong either. They have their pride, just like you. So we have Space Guts, and now we have Space Levi. So? Hmm? How's it taste? Good. Do you really mean it? Growing up, there was nothing to eat but garbage. So everything tastes good compared to that. Damn. <laughs> but it's better than garbage. No, that's not what I meant. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Fuka, is there tea? Yep. Yeah. Fuka? Don't what you ever name? get lonely? Mother Fuka? Being away from Mars? Not really. My life here is actually pretty great. I get to live with Fuka, and I can even send her to school. Plus, I've got friends here too. Sorry, was that too presumptuous of me? Oh, no. Can you set up some cups, Takaki? Sure. Come on. You're starting to sound exactly like Mikazuki. I'm not that bad, am I? Got a sec. Oh. Hush, no, right? as a matter of fact, Did I you don't. Not get enough food to eat? I'm afraid I don't have that many lines for this episode. Bad. Would it be alright if I piloted a mobile suit? No. He I'm looks sure like the type. You would not. All the manuals. Yeah, he looked like the type that's going to be piloting one. They do. How old are you anyway? 17, sir. Well, if that's the case, then you're too old to get the Alea Vignana surgery. I'm sorry, kid. Too old? <laughs> you heard me. At your age, it'd be impossible for the nanomachines to take root. You can at least try it on me, couldn't you? I don't care if it yeah, doesn't work out. Kill you. Don't say that! Huh? It's not to be taken lightly. The Alea Vignana surgery is a really dangerous one. And if it doesn't work, you could die. There's a reason the boss banned the surgery. He's looking out for you guys. He just pulled the gun out. Like, why are y'all arguing about it anyway? <laughs> Get out of my. Oh. Mikazuki. Don't try it. Hold on, Mikazuki. It's not what you. What think. are you doing? <laughs> why is he? <laughs> what are you going to do to her? That spider monkey grip, boy. Don't play with me. Let go. Hey, dial it down before you break the poor kid's arm. Yeah, we were just having a conversation, really. So wait. He wasn't picking on you? Hey, you know I don't get bullied. Why did it work on you but not him? Him? Just forget it. Sorry I bothered you. Sorry, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Damn. Bilf. Bilf was like her big brother. He always said he wanted to make our lives easier. So he left the slums to become a soldier. But it didn't work out. And Bill came back paralyzed. Oh, that's what he was down. talking about. He tried Bill. to get the surgery. Mm -hmm. You must be starving. That's the usual scraps, but the cafeteria owner threw in some extra. <sighs> my surgery for the Alea Vignana didn't take. They called me industrial waste. Wow. And they said I was worthless now. They just what said the harshest about? things that to That wound will heal up in no time. I mean, come on, you're the toughest guy I know. And I'm not just saying that. You're wrong. If I were tough, 
this wouldn't have happened. I wanted to make life easier for you guys. <laughs> but instead... I'm just a burden. No! Nothing, uh, I knew it was going to do it. I'm so sorry. I knew it was going to go we well all like thought this. the same thing back then. That if we stuck with Bilf, everything would work Poor out. Poor Bilf. But he... That's why... I have no choice but to become the next Bilf. I'll show them that if they stick with me, we can make this hellhole of a world worth living in. Yeah. Hey. I'm sick of listening to you. <laughs> I'm gonna take a dump. That chicken soup's trying to come down the wrong way. Had McGillis farried. I wonder what the heck is going through his mind. There's no need to worry. I am here so that I may protect you, Master Eok. Hmm. Truth is, I am repaying Master Rustle for taking me in. I feel no particular sense of devotion toward you, but for Master Rustle's sake, I shall keep you safe. <laughs> Honestly, mm -mm. I find it very unlikely that you could prove to be a threat to Master Rustle. However, that other man does concern you. You must not know McGillis. Oh, <laughs> that one. Trust him or not, he has been useful. Because of him, we now know what McGillis is up to. But even so, there's something about him that doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Tony Stark. How are you doing? I sent Eok into the end yeah, this to the battle mm -hmm. sector. Seems like McGillis sent Isarugu. Exactly as you predicted he would. Uh oh! Who is this? Yo, there you are. Orga, what's up? Nothing. But it looks like things are about to get hectic. Mm -mm. I'll be counting on you, Mika. <laughs> Oh boy, so much shit is going on, man. So much. You know what I'm saying? We got new characters and new rivals to, you know, go up against our reoccurring cast members, man. What's this guy's name? Like, what's this new guy's name, man? Um, Hush? Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Hush. Yeah, it's like I'm really feeling this character. He just gives off... Uh, new guy, main antagonist potential energy, you know. He does give off possible antagonist energy. He also, I don't know, it's like maybe not. Maybe he really just wants to show them that he can do it too. Mm -hmm. So maybe he's not going to be an antagonist, but we don't know yet. Um, but this was a good episode. And, uh, you know, Mikazuki still being my favorite character and whatnot. You know, he came through and was like, I will break your wrist off if it even looked like you was going to hit this woman. I know, right? This dude, it's like, he is just, like I say, guys, he's stone cold, man. He, he just, is Mr. Try Me if you want to. Right. I'm always there at the right time. I'm going to be eating my suspected. little fried prunes or whatever it is he likes to chomp on every <laughs> fried day. Fried prunes. He, yeah. Look, he going to eat his little fried prunes and he going to bust a cap and he going to grab your arm and he going to probably kill you. For real, man. So it seems like right now we got to deal with this Don Horizon corpse, you know, because they just been like running them up. It's like everybody hates these guys because they're just like anal butt dwelling pirates that like to jump yeah, out when you suspect them. Mischief and problems. Right. Every day. So after this episode in A Plus, it was you know sad seeing that that poor little boy. He just excuse me. The way they talk to kids in this show, it's just like, I don't necessarily like kids, but I wouldn't talk to them like that. You know what I'm saying? Just call them waste and debris and waste, waste, useless and all those other sad words that they just call the poor children. And then they really start believing it and then they go do something like that, you know? Yeah, I hate that. That was sad. I kind of, I, I don't want to say I seen it coming, but as soon as I seen them damn bandages, I was like, okay. Yeah, it was disappointing. It just sucks that these kids think that's their only way out of poverty, too. It's like they just have to join up and be soldiers or their life is meaningless, which is what this guy thought. You know, it was like, man, I ain't got nothing to live for anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's his name? Built? Sounds like that. So they got, I got a weird name already. Right, right. I thought it was Bilf, but Bilf, I don't, I don't know what kind of name that is, but it's yeah. okay. 
But anyways, that's going to conclude the reaction for today, man. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, let us know in the comment section below, man. And also, provide the proper context of things we may have gotten misconstrued. Do that. Do it now. Do it. But uh, yeah, this is your boy RVG, aka The Random Black Hammer, my lovely white channel, we on the ones and twos. We into the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphan Season 2. Peace.